Your morning news now on this Friday. <laughs> Families of 9-11 victims are outraged that a Saudi Arabian backed golf tour is happening just 50 miles away from ground zero this weekend. Former President Donald Trump and the Trump National Golf Club in New Jersey are hosting the event. Critics say the event amounts to a blatant sports washing by a nation trying to improve its reputation. Today, the Biden administration is making nearly 800,000 doses of monkeypox vaccine available nationwide. In San Francisco, a state of emergency begins on Monday as the city tries to slow the spread. Officials say the acknowledgement allows them to cut through red tape. City leaders say they will not implement behavior restrictions like with COVID-19. President Biden held a meeting Thursday for an update on economic conditions. The meeting follows the release of the GDP report, which showed the U.S. economy shrank for the second straight quarter. The president argued that it makes sense that economic growth has slowed down. He also reflected from Fed Chairman Powell's news conference on Wednesday, in which he said he does not believe the U.S. is in a recession. While lawmakers are trying to hit home runs, a group of climate change protesters proved to be a loud distraction. It happened during the annual congressional baseball game at Nationals Park in D.C. They want Congress to pass legislation to address climate issues. Three were arrested for entering the park without permission. The U.S. Postal Service is creating a new division specifically for mail-in ballots. The agency, which has already handled more than 40 million ballots for this year's midterms, says it is committed to the secure and timely delivery of election mail. For the 2020 election, the post office says it delivered more than 99% of ballots within seven days. And a look at your first alert forecast for today. Hey, just copy yesterday, paste today. Sunny skies and comfortable winds will be out of the northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour, mid 50s for tonight with mostly clear skies. Ukraine's first lady is speaking out about the difficulties of war. Starring on the latest digital cover of Vogue, the first lady mentions not being able to contact her husband or her parents for long periods of time. There has been some backlash over the photos. Some say gracing the cover of an American fashion magazine during a war is in poor taste. If you are looking to get a blowout, freshen up those bangs, or even get a little trim, you might notice longer wait times at the hair salon. Salon owners say they are experiencing a stylist shortage for the first time in decades. Many stylists retired during COVID-19, and while students are enrolling in beauty school, salon owners say the industry cannot keep up with the demand. An update on the high V being built into Valley View Mall in Onalaska. Company officials tell News 8 now the grocery store should be open sometime this fall. This is the first high V location in the La Crosse area. The new mural going up on Main Street's parking ramp in La Crosse could be done by this weekend. The artist is painting native plants and butterflies near one of the ramp's entrances. She started working on the mural on Monday and put paint to concrete for the first time on Wednesday. And she says the two plants she's displaying have a long history of being used as medicine and are important to the area. Celebrate summer in La Crosse with sidewalk sales, discounts, live music, good food, and more. La Crosse Summer Days has begun. Enjoy food from numerous vendors and shop from several boutiques and retailers to buy anything from artwork pieces to clothing. There will also be music from performers on Saturday from Nightcap and Eric Jorgensen from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. and 5 to 7 p.m. All right, let's round out the hour with a final look at the eight day. We'll see temperatures in the upper 70s today, mid 80s for the weekend, upper 80s by Tuesday, mid 90s for Wednesday. We want to thank you so much for your time this week. And of course, you can keep up with the news of the day at news8000.com. We will be back on the air at noon. CBS Mornings follows us here. We hope you have a great weekend.